Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am not going to be bringing you this look. Well, I'm going to be bringing you a look that includes this, but like not this in its entirety. Since it is Halloween, I thought it would be fun to kind of delve into the world of SFX makeup. If you don't know what that means, SFX is special effects makeup. This is stuff that I have like dipped a toe in with before. I have tried out some SFX makeup in the past. I've just never really done it on my channel, so I thought today would be a good day as any, seeing as Halloween is on the way. So if this liner did give you a little bit of an indicator, I'm trying to kind of go for something a bit like bright and kind of neon, but still a little bit like Halloween-y, a bit scary, a bit gory. I, it's hard to really explain, I just have the vision in my head, so I just thought I would try it out on camera and see how it goes. It might completely fail. It probably will completely fail. But, you know, that's the fun of SFX makeup, that's the fun of makeup, so... Let's just try it. So before we jump right in and I potentially embarrass myself, just take a second to like this video and subscribe to my channel. That would really help me out. And yeah, let's get started. So I'm starting off by taking this Mayron Paradise paint palette and using the red shade on this quite small brush just to map out a simple rectangle shape right on the middle of my neck. And once I have that basic shape down, I'm gonna take a slightly larger brush and fill in that entire area with that same shade. Next I'm taking the black shade from that same palette and adding that in in small patches to try and give the red a little bit more dimension and make the skin look like it's slightly bruised. That didn't really work out to plan so I ended up just mixing some more red back in. Now I'm going to use some liquid latex and toilet paper. The latex that you use doesn't have to be anything fancy. This is the one from Makeup Revolution. You can get loads of it on Amazon as well. And I'm just taking small squares of toilet paper at a time and kind of ripping them to size so that they cover up that red area that I've painted down, but they don't cover up too much of my neck. And then using a basic makeup sponge, I'm just dabbing on the liquid latex around the edges, almost like a glue, making sure that I'm carrying that onto my skin so that there's a nice seamless blend between tissue paper and my skin. I'm also making sure I'm not bringing any of the latex into the center area where the tissue paper is. Okay, so at this point I've got about four layers of uh, toilet paper and latex on. I'm just waiting for it to dry. As you can see, you can still see it's kind of like white around the edges. The way that you know it's dry is when it's completely clear. So while I'm waiting for it to dry, I've obviously done something to my hair. I don't really know what's going on here. I just kind of wanted to get it out because like I put this nice color in it and I think it looks pretty cool. If you want to know how I did that, I'll leave a video for it up here. Um, I think I also want to kind of do some like neon like freckles to kind of match the liner i feel like that might look quite cool so yeah while this is drying i'm gonna give that a go using the same suva beauty hydro liners i've got on my eyes on very fine art brushes i'm just randomly dotting those colors on that area just under my eyes and across the bridge of my nose i'm not taking these out too far or too low or too wide and then i'm gonna take some face powder just right over the top of them to give them that kind of under the skin look and make it a little bit more natural in order to make the tissue paper look more like skin, I'm just covering it up with the same mix of concealer that I've used on my face, because obviously I don't wear foundation. So I'm taking that on a Real Technique sponge, but I realised that that wasn't working very well and the sponge was just absorbing all the concealer, so I've now mixed to a buffer brush so that I can get right into the, all the creases and the nooks and crannies between the latex and my skin, and then I'm going to powder that slightly with a bit of a darker face powder than I would normally use, but just because the toilet paper is so much lighter than my actual skin skin. I'm pinching the toilet paper away just slightly before I make the first cut and then I'm using these very sharp scissors to cut a slit through the very centre of the toilet paper, not all the way up to the edge of the latex so the bond stays intact and then I'm cutting some extra lines in the top and the bottom just so it makes it look a bit more like frayed skin. Obviously because there are so many layers of toilet paper, some of the white shows through where I've cut it, so I'm taking some of that red paint that we started with and painting over that middle section and taking it a little bit out and around the slit so it looks a little bit more bloody. And then I'm going to take some actual fake blood and I'm pouring it directly into the slit and blending it out so that it really saturates that toilet paper. Then I'm going to take my original concealer brush and use that to blend out the edges even further. Lastly, I'm taking those same liners on really wet brushes and pressing them into my skin to make it drip.
So that is it for the end of this look. This is my take on a kind of very gory like slash neck look with a kind of colourful twist. And these things are actually UV so I feel like if you're going out somewhere that has like UV lights or black lights the kind of blood is going to glow and it's going to tie in really nicely with the like glowing freckles and the glowing liner. I think it's just a little bit fun if you're not really into the too too gory side of Halloween but you just want something a bit more fun. It might also look cool if you add some like cool body glitter over the top that might be a nice effect. This is probably what I'm gonna wear out on Halloween so that's probably what I'm gonna do. I feel like it went pretty well. For someone who's not an SFX makeup expert I'm quite proud of this. I think it looks quite cool. I would probably say in hindsight I maybe wouldn't use as many layers of tissue paper and latex so if you are thinking about doing this look that is something to keep in mind also. But um, yeah, I think it went quite well. If you guys think so as well, then let me know by leaving a comment down below, liking this video. As I said in the beginning, subscribe to my channel. That really helps me out. And um, I hope you guys have a great Halloween. Oh, my camera's falling. Stay put. Stay. Okay. She's good. She's good. As I was saying, I hope you guys had a great Halloween wherever it is that you end up. And like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.